Hello everyone, what is up? Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. Today we're going to be talking about what's happening with XRP in the XRP community. Now in CoinMarketCap, XRP is still stable. Beachin was skyrocketing yesterday. I mean, it's finally calming down. Most of the other coins are in the red today. Now guys, before we jump into news, I'd like to say I'm not a financial advisor, nor is financial advice just for entertainment value only. XRP Store has to it out. Say that this pandemic is really sparing the world to move quicker from cash to digital. Obviously, this is very different from country to country. For instance, when we look at the Philippines, this is very much still cash based. Uh, when you look at Indonesia, you see that they are moving faster to, towards the digital. But you know, when the people cannot use cash, um, in person, they have to store, they have to keep it somewhere. This could be a bank account, this could be a digital wallet, or any other means. Um, and what we see is, um, according to certain studies, and especially coming out of this COVID-19 crisis, uh, and it was one of them was quoted actually in March by BBC, that the decline of the cash, if it continues at the same path, probably by 2026, the cash will end. I, I'm, I'm not saying that this will happen, to be honest. I think much depends actually of how, how we will manage this crisis. But what, what is important, and, and I think it's uh, coming back, is that the people that were less digital savvy, now they are moving towards becoming more digital in different ways. And, and obviously money is an important angle of that. I think the collaboration between fintechs and banks and incumbents will continue. And it becomes probably even more important. Uh, I think the crisis came out with some clear message around that even in the we see that how the things are happening in a domestic level with the supports that uh, governments are doing or giving to to retailers and small businesses is that probably we need a better payments experience and better payment systems uh, in the world and i think this this will continue to uh, to be part of the agenda moving forward uh, from ripa perspective we are really uh, quite um, uh, engaged and i would say we are stream ahead uh, with um, the, 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 our customer base in terms of um, helping them and bringing new corridors that are, you know, uh, let's say more complex today in terms of the cross-border uh, transactions uh, and using this on-demand liquidity that I mentioned uh, to, to those users. So, yeah, I'm, I think uh, the, the, the moving from towards digital is becoming more and more part of the agenda of the world. So good for, for organizations like us. <laughs> I think moving towards digital has become more and more a part of the agenda of the world. So good for organizations like us. Again, guys, the trend of cash, it keep, if it keeps on going like that, it won't be here for much longer. But this connects to the next week from Extra Pre-Store once again. When you go move from the, let's say, more, um, let's say, batch processing or a deadline of the treasury towards a real-time management of the liquidity, I would say that I don't know many financial institutions that are still ready with that. So from, from Ripple perspective, you know, and I think blockchain is providing the, I think the essence or let's say the, the philosophy of the blockchain has been around, okay, how you can make, um, let's say the move of the funds real time. Uh, rather than today, the funds is actually is like sending a message and then moving the funds separately. So the idea with the blockchain and the, 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 the product that we are working on, uh, which is called on-demand liquidity, is, is uh, rather than pre-funding, actually, so sending money in advance, sometimes it's 24 hours, 48 hours, or using the line of credits, uh, why not using the digital assets, like in our case is XRP, as a bridge asset between two fiat currencies? So I'll give you a simple example. We call this product the on-demand liquidity, and it is used in multiple corridors, namely Mexico, um, Philippines, and some other markets that are coming uh, soon. So the idea is, is not replacing actually the fiat currencies because we know that this is, this is really the backbone of the economy and it's not going to be replaced, but is creating at least or uh, moving the funds on real time. And the way it is happening is that you have $100, right? Uh, and you want to send $100, let's imagine, to, uh, to Mexico. So you use XRP in this case uh, by transforming uh, the USD into XRP and immediately after to Mexican peso. And this is thanks to the performance of the blockchain and at least the system that Ripple is using, which is consensus space, is a matter of few seconds. So this concept actually has been evolved, especially in a low value payment, high frequency payment. 
Uh, and we think that this really brings a value, especially for um, a remittances business that, you know, the, 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 it's very costly, uh, this kind of transaction. And, and we see growth and interest uh, in this segment. So this is the way that we tackle the, the liquidity in terms of moving from a um, pre-funding model to a more intraday liquidity and dynamic management of the liquidity. We are not trying to replace fiat. On-demand liquidity, and it is used in multiple quarters, namely in Mexico, Philippines, and some other markets that are coming soon. Finance to Sweetel XRP is fill in the blanks. Going to take the number one spot in cryptocurrency. Going to make Bitcoin an altcoin. So guys, we'll have to wait and see. Next who comes from Black XRP. So that is how funds flow, and of course you could have a marketplace of thousands of market makers and the system will find the least cost path um, and the least, uh, least cost bit between one currency and the next. Uh, so there is a, a, a native currency inside of Ripple called XRP. Kind of long and short of it is it's there to provide a securing element to the system. Um, it's, it's, a prevent, it's there to prevent denial of service attacks. And it's there to provide, to provide liquidity to illiquid assets. Very important to point out here is that the role is XRP inside of Ripple is, as a native currency does not, is not required. Um, institutions and market makers can transact on Ripple in G10 currencies and never bump up against XRP. Um, XRP is, is, is in the ledger and it does play a unique role in the ledger. But Ripple as a payments protocol can be used to facilitate cross-border payments, domestic payments, uh, payments in loyalty points, airline miles, uh, gold bullion, G10 currencies, without ever br bunching, uh, touching XRP. Now guys, we're to the fun part of XRP in the XRP community. Now this is quite interesting. Ram the weird has tweeted out, when moon after the drop, July, August, watch the 24 cents, then boom. Sharing like a mature I am. Luminous Design has tweeted out the bank panic of 1907, the stock market crash of 1929, and Black Monday 1987 all happened during the month of October. Historically speaking, however, September has had more down markets than October. September, October, 910, 109. Again, guys, these upcoming months will be huge. Next week comes from 5A9 Society. Now, this tweet was from last year. But we can see, could Trump be behind this door? Two weeks. Im image from BG123 Decoder 2018. So, who do you guys think is behind this door? Crypto Amigo is sweet out. I think you might have missed something. We can see right here, overnight, December 11. Now you guys can check out all of this. Go to the replies from XRP Brainstorm. Yes, July 11, 10 days of darkness to the 21st regs. 20th possible moon. I was discussing this on Telegram today. The 20th possible moon. We'll have to keep watching out for these dates. Val Jester Asuido, ask yourself, does these times add up? XRP in Trump's hand, takes off before his second term, time enough to see recovery, XRP symbol, X equal 10, equal October. September, sacrifice month, history repeats. Off the economy, old world, stock market collapse, and that makes sense. That connects with the other two we looked at, my opinion. So if we take a look at this, guys, get ready for a world currency. We can see Trump with XRP. So watch out for September again. The Crypto Lark has tweeted out, 2020 has already been insane for crypto. 2021 will mint many new millionaires, especially those not scared of altcoins. Bitcoin will do fine, but the big gains will be elsewhere. And there we go, guys. The big gains will be elsewhere in the altcoins. Like XRP, in my opinion. Marvin XRP has tweeted out, we can see right here, Shane Ellis, we can see Patience. Now, some people are saying that's fake, but we can see join February 2010. So do you guys think this is real or fake, but Patience. Gold Telegraph has tweeted out, over the past year, Russia's currency has lost over 40% when measured against gold. Over the past year, United States currency has lost over 25% when measured against gold. Over the past year, Canada's currency has lost over 30% when measured against gold. Gold? Equal money, guys. Gold, gold, gold. Xprihado has tweeted out this image right here from Tony. Just heard that September we'll see a heavy market crash, possibly due to regulations. XRP the Phoenix will rise in October. Not financial advice, just be ready. September, we keep hearing September now. 
Baba Cook says, sweet out, are you ready? We are only weeks away. The final tip for today's video comes from Mr. Pool. We can see this picture right here. What do you guys think this is? But if we go down the replies from J9 Delton, we can see ready. Is everyone ready, guys? Is everyone ready? But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, please leave a like, subscribe. If you guys haven't already, feel free to be a member of the channel. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. And then, guys, see ya. This is the beginning of the greatest economic cycle this country has had since World War II. And I knew the things that Donald would do. And he hasn't even got started. But this is the eye of the mother storm, the perfect storm. It ain't never gonna get any better. Never. This is perfect for the QLA model. If I could have written the mother uh, prescription or a formula, I couldn't have written it any better. Low interest rates, money's free, you stupid f Massive chaos. And Donald's gonna rip the mother f economy apart. And he's gonna f for practice in a good way. This is it. It ain't never gonna get any better. This is like a multiple orgasm in the rest of your life, you fucking slags that are in the audience. This is it. Sometimes I don't want to hear what Dan has to tell me. But as I wrote in one of my blogs, the old man, he's always right. Because he's telling you what you don't want to hear about yourself, but what you know is true. And that is, you're not stepping yourself up. You're not stepping your game up. And you get caught up in fear. As Dan says, false expectations appear to you.